Hello everyone, um, I haven't been vlogging all day because I woke up kind of late and after that all I've been doing is work. As a result it is now half past six in the evening. Um, again I, I haven't been uh, vlogging for about half an hour, like an hour. I would have been doing it an hour later but I had to edit and render the vlog ready to upload which is going to take ages to upload as well so it'll take even longer for me to, uh, to vlog next. But I'm just telling you what I'm doing. I'm doing my field work, uh, not field work. I'm doing my coursework. So I hope you guys can understand that I'm not gonna. This vlog is gonna be really short. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna crack on and um, yeah. Sorry. <sighs> there we go. Vlog is up and um, only an hour and a quarter late. That's not. To be honest, that's not actually too bad. It was like half an hour video. Um, I'm currently writing my report. Like, I've got my data, but then I have 500 words to actually, like, discuss it. Which, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, I have a lot of data. It's going to be quite hard to make it concise, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I can do it. There we go. I finally decluttered my room a little bit. I put my, my dishes in the dishwasher. So, that'll be good. And it means I can actually cook myself some dinner in a bit. Like, it is 8 o'clock now, and um, I haven't eaten yet today, apart from, like, a bourbon. So I probably should eat something and not trash. I'm not going to go to the shops and buy some drunk. I'm going to actually use up the food I've got. So I might make a curry. Because curry is yummy. Oh, and then I'm going to have curry with baked potato. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm having to take a break from um, doing work. Because I'm pretty sure someone's stolen money out of my bank account. Great. Yeah, I think someone has stolen about £87 out of my account. Unfortunately, it's too late for me to ring NatWest right now. I'm terrified about me losing this money. Um, but I can't do anything about it now, obviously. I'm just going to have to wait until tomorrow and ring them before I go on my field work, which is really annoying. I wish I didn't have field work tomorrow, because then I could, like, and I wish I didn't have this work to do now. It's just stressing me out. I just want it to be okay again, but it's, it's not going to be great. So um, I'm going to carry on with work, trying to distract myself, just, like, Imagine, like, I'm going to get the money back. I, like, I have to get the money back. That's ridiculous. It's stupid. Like, I don't get, it comes out of my account as a direct debit, but with no information about the recipient apart from a name. Mm. I just don't understand. There's no, on all my other direct debits, there's the account details, like, of who I paid it to. There's, like, a contact number, everything. But for this, there's nothing. I can't even log in online. Because NatWest has, like, have to send me, a, like, have to send me a confirmation code or, like, a security code or something. But they haven't texted it to me. Um, because when I signed up to them, I didn't have this phone. And they've, uh, and so they've probably posted it to home. Um, but, if, like, they might not have even done that. So I literally can't log in and do anything with my account because all I can see is that it's come through on my phone, where I'm using my touch ID to, to see it. And there's just no information. <laughs> it's pissing me off, and I can't concentrate on my work now because of it. I just don't know what to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work, just focus my anger into my work and make my work good. <laughs> so, it's just pissed me off. I've just found out that Doctor Who might be filming um, in Gosport. Yeah, back home, where I want to be. Oh, that is that pissed me off so much. If they're gonna be filming in Gosport, and my oh, I'm gonna send my little brother to go and see. That is just not fair. That is not fair at all. Why are they filming in Gosport? I live in Gosport, but I don't. I live in Wales now. Fuck. Maybe they'll come to Bangor. <laughs> That's very much what I'm thinking. Right, I've managed to get half of the entire thing fully done. Like I've done all of it but I need to be like refining it now, making sure that it makes sense and everything's concise and everything adhere to the word limit, etc. But it's looking good. Yes, I'm sitting on my bed because my phone desperately needed the charge. Um, so I keep flitting back if I need to use my phone to record the vlog. Yeah. I've nearly, really nearly finished uh, now going over stuff, but I just found a new piece of information that I'm having to try and put in at some point. Essentially, um, this is all about crabs and like, We've done habituation to flipping them over, but we also measured their like uh, kela, kela, which are their their big claws, and um, part of it is to identify whether they're right or left-handed. And we did that, and the the like significance of it was very very strong. Like there are a lot more right-handed crabs than left-handed, 
and I like I didn't have a clue what the reason could be and to be honest in, in the world of science there isn't really a, a, an, expl an explanation as such but um, someone uh, and Tan in 1985 actually suggests that the right handedness is um, like has evolved to be dominant in crabs because of a shell formation that is dominant in their prey. So their prey species would be like mollusks uh, and they're like the dominant uh, formation of the shell in mollusks is uh, dextral rather than sinestral. And the right-handed approach means that it's like it gives a crushing advantage over uh, to like if you're crushing a dextral shell it's easier to do it with your right hand because of your position of your body and where the dextral coil is is on the on the snail compared to sinestral like that is so cool so the snails evolved to mostly be dextral and then as a result the crabs evolved to mostly be right-handed like honestly that is actually blowing my mind it sounds really stupid but i honestly have become really happy just because i've heard like this it's honestly <laughs> so interesting i don't know why i love crabs now crabs are cool i'm really hungry <laughs> so i need to finish this work now and then i can give myself some food uh again i think i'm pulling an all-nighter um because i don't want to go to sleep for two hours but like because i don't think i could i think i'd sleep through my field work tomorrow and i can't do that so i'm just gonna eat and chill and watch a film or something when I finish this and it will all be fine. Just remembered that my bank account got hacked. Maybe not everything will be fine. Also, I'm a freaking genius. Part of the assessment, which I didn't realise, was trying to see if there was like... Because it was seeing if right and left handed if there was like a significant, significant difference between the two, but then there was also that and if there's significant differences between the genders or the genders, the sexes of crabs, like if females were more right-handed than males or stuff. And um, when I was sorting out which crab was left and right-handed, I was literally doing all by hand, seeing the numbers and like adding them together. And then I, then I, uh, I like developed a, a like calculation for it. Um, but then I, um, for this, because I didn't realize you had to do males and females, I discovered an awesome formula that you can put in and then uh, so this is all my values if they're negative it means they're right-handed and if they're positive it means they're left um, and I've worked out this formula which looks like this and so it only marks out if it's negative or if it's positive and I'm a genius I figured that out all by myself because I used to like be really good at Excel back in the like G the prime not primary school days oh like secondary school days and um, I, I used to know all of the formulas and stuff off by heart and what each individual thing meant and I've worked that out I didn't even go online or anything I just worked that out by just sitting and looking <laughs> I feel really proud of myself but yeah I'm actually uh, pretty much done now so I'm just gonna run through it make sure everything's all, all okay I won't upload it because I'll check it all in the morning before I upload uh, before the deadline and um, then I'm gonna go and do myself some food because I am fucking starving myself probably uh, a vegetable curry I feel like I've deserved something really really yummy actually I've realized what time it is and I don't want to wake people up it is it's like four o'clock I don't want to wake people up by cooking I might cook my curry tomorrow and I can have it over the weekend have a really chill weekend um, yeah and so instead I will what can I have instead? I feel like being on toast or something. I could just do a jacket potato. I could cook a jacket potato because I'll like I'll just stay in the oven and that will be quiet. All right. Here we go. Plans. Well, that's gonna take um what an hour to cook. So I'm now gonna go and have some well-deserved relaxing time. And uh, yeah, you know. Watch some videos, maybe some Netflix, and we'll, we'll just see, won't we? My back hurts so much from being sat on that shitty chair. I've literally been sat there for twelve hours. It's ridiculous. But like, if I if I'd rushed my work, like if I'd done it quicker and I hadn't taken breaks and stuff, 
I would have been done by now, like easily. I'd have been done like yesterday or the day before. But because I'm trying to take time and make sure that I do the best I can, it's taking me ages to do, which gives me more of an incentive the next time to start it straight away. Uh, but yeah, my back really hurts, so lying down is feeling amazing right now. Right, I think I'm gonna log off from the vlog for now. I will quickly round off the vlog when my food comes, but then I'll stop the vlog for today and that'll be it. But yeah, I'm gonna make sure that you guys, you special you guys still watching, uh, get to see my jacket potato. Because who wouldn't love to do that? Oh, there we go. Oh, no, you can't even see it. There we go. That is fucking tasty. I'm now really happy and content and ready to lie down and eat and just chill until my field work. So I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm sorry I haven't done anything interesting. I needed to do my work. That's just the way things are. Tomorrow, though, I've got field work. Um, probably going to see Eddie at some point. Try and fix uh, my bank account, which will be fun. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys then. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you tomorrow when my phone's not covering my face. So, <laughs> cheerio. Do you smell potatoes?